The crank test can be utilized to assess for a torn labrum at the glenohumeral joint or what's otherwise referred to as a slap lesion. Now, we'll want to initially position our patient in supine. The examiner will next uh, grab the patient, patient at the wrist and I'm going to bring him up and do about 160 degrees of elevation. We'll go ahead and ask the patient to relax their arm down to the plinth, maintain about 90 degrees of elbow flexion. Now the clinician will want to apply an axial load through the humerus, compressing the glenohumeral joint. While maintaining this compressive force, the clinician will next want to control for internal and external rotation. A positive test is indicated by reproduction of the patient's concordant pain either with or without a click while executing this test. Currently the literature that has analyzed the effectiveness of this, of this test has been mixed and therefore the clinical utility is unknown at this time.